Always wash hands before proceeding to a procedure to protect patient from infection due to pathogens carried in your hands and own flora. Hello, good afternoon ma'am. I'm Maria Christina Gabriel, your student nurse for today. May I know your name? Ma'am Claire, we will be performing laying a pulse maneuver to determine the position of the baby. Is that okay? Would you like to go to the restroom before we start as it might be uncomfortable as we proceed to the procedure? Place patient in dorsal recumbent position so find knee flex and provide small pillow under the head for comfort. Wait properly to maintain privacy of the patient. Warm hind first to avoid stimulate uterine contractions. First maneuver or the fundal group is the palpation of the fundal area to determine which fetal part is in the uterine fundus. Second maneuver or the umbilical group. It is to locate or identify the fetal back in relation to the right and left sides of the mother. Third maneuver or the pollux group, it determines if the presenting part has entered the pelvis or the engagement of the presenting part. Fourth maneuver or the pelvic group, it determines the degree of fetal head flexion or extension, the attitude or habitus, and the fetal descent. Fundal height or the McDonald's rule is a measure of the size of the uterus used to assess fetal growth and development during pregnancy. It is measured from the top of the mother's uterus to the top of the mother's pubic symphysis. After the procedure, cover the exposed area assess and make sure the patient is comfortable. Thank the patient for cooperating and wash hands after the procedure. Make sure to return the equipments or materials used and then document the findings.